Welcome to my channel Stash the Cash. My name is Mrs Lex, checking in once more with you today. I hope you are well and doing okay. Today is my week two of checking in and today I will be talking to you and showing you the visual aids that I will be using via a step-by-step, -step, week by week. I will be also referencing the penny jar, what I have noticed recently. And I will be, I actually want to speak to you about why I've chosen to save using two closed units. So, um, so that's it. So, so here we go. So to the left of me, I have the penny challenge chart. Although I'm going to tell you about what I have in my bowl today, I first want to talk to you about the penny saving challenge. I'm going to pick it up. So here is my penny saving chart. And if you can see what it says at the top, 1P saving penny challenge chart. And it also says when you complete this, chart over a year using these monetary amounts that are, obviously the boxes are ticked it should tally at 667 so i'm just going to point that out to you if you can see that I'll use that finger 66795 so the reason why i'm going to reference the penny challenge chart i just wanted to to highlight something that i i noticed because i think that when we do something or when we have achieved something it's nice to highlight something that is significant so i'm gonna just touch base on that now so um in january of 23 i was doing this saving challenge and i i had this chart on my fridge held up by some fridge magnets and i have like a an old spaghetti got sorry old spaghetti jar on top of my fridge and obviously i was doing my thing and putting the coins in and so forth but during the 12 months um obviously the spaghetti jar is glass so obviously you can see through it so as i was putting the coins in during that period what I notice with the penny saving jar is that because of where it is positioned and because the chart is on my fridge, when anybody comes into my kitchen, whether it be an adult or anyone in the household, they'd see the chart, they'd see the jar and they would, they no longer wanted to keep loose change in their pocket. And because they had that visual aid, they actually put coins in and how I know this is because after 12 months my balance wasn't 667 as I've just shown you on the chart it was 966 and I know that I did not put that in there I was putting in the amount that was in the box sorry so I wasn't expecting that figure. I was expecting this one. But because there was a visual aid in sight, it seemed to have an effect on people in the household. So I just wanted to highlight that, that maybe, you know, I, I, I just think that it's a positive thing and I think that everybody should have a jar somewhere positioned in their home. It doesn't matter who you have in your household whether it's an older person or a younger person or children or teenagers, I think that everybody should have one because I think that I think that if you have loose change, it's like um, you, you're going to automatic uh, drive. You just, oh, I've got some change, let me just put it in there. in there. And that is what has happened and that is what I've noticed. And um, I think that the penny challenge jar has actually worked a bit of magic and um, that's my bit of magic that I want you to share with you because you know pennies make pounds and pounds have views so that is something that i just wanted to highlight so moving forward today i have some coins to add i just want to sh share that with you so i have 20 pounds 
and I have 10 pounds and 50 p. So I have 30 pounds to add to this. And that's, this is ongoing progress. So, so that is what I have to add to it. I won't be telling you, I think on my last video, I told you what the balance was, but that's not really relevant because um, we're going to move forward and talk about this container in front of me. The five pound note saving challenge jar. I did this challenge last year when I, it was very, very, um. it was very, what's the word? Um, effective. And um, I like the idea of, well, I like the five pound note challenge anyway, because I, I think it's easy to do. And it's nice when you're given a fiver from anybody at any time. And I just like this challenge. And I like the idea that it's in a see-through container because I like, for me, I like that visual aid when you see when the jar is rising, I think it it's nice and it it it's just it's just nice to see it to have that visual aid. So I started this challenge one week ago and now it's my week two. So I today I have some notes to add to that. So I'm gonna reach to reach in my binder which is in sorry to the right of me and get the funds. So let's go. So here we are. So today I have one, two, three, four, five. So I've added 25 pounds to my five pound note saving challenge jar. And to date, this is, sorry. 30 pounds you might be thinking to yourself that it's not a big deal 30 pounds in fives and 10 pounds in coins but the way i see it is this 30 pounds in coins it doesn't matter what denomination it's in it is 30 pounds so 30 and 30 is 60 so that is what i have this week in regards to saving challenges and I have shown you how simple it is and how easy it is to do and that is what I wanted to highlight with you and one of the reasons why I chose to do a step by step is because um, I had a comment a while back the latter end of 23 from um, a young lady and um, she said that she needed some support to save and I she kind of inspired me to do a step by step because I think sometimes you've just got to lay it out plain and simple and show people that, you know, little small amounts of funds can become significant. As I have just shown you, 30 and 30, 60. It's as simple as that. So moving forward, I want to talk to you about the two closed units that I reference in my week one and why I will be using them. Obviously, I've chosen not to have them close to me here because I, I don't know, I just everything s seems to be cluttered, but I do have them on the table. So I'm gonna pull the fur for the first one. So pulling it forward. This is my keeping things as simple as possible. It's my two pound coin tin, and I, I christened it in my week one. However, I don't have any coins today, but I know that somebody has put some coins in because it is heavier than last week. So I just need to know how much so I can lock it because I want to know what is in there. So, um, I like the idea of a closed unit for for coins because um, I did this challenge last year, even though I didn't have a lot of coins, but it was still nice to experience it. And it was a good experience. So that is why I wanted to continue that. So obviously it's a lot heavier than last week. So um, 
some magic has been worked somewhere via someone in the household. So moving forward, push that to the back. All right, I have this figure tin, the Queen's, sorry, the Queen's tin, and I added some funds to it in my week one. I don't have any funds today, but you know, I'm not going to stress over it because this figure here, a £1,000 target, I put it there and it's what I want to aim to do. However, if I'm not able to do it, it's not going to be an issue. That's my personal goal. You know, no one's coming for me. No one's saying you didn't do it. You know, it's it's just me and this gadget. And that is why I like saving challenges because I think sometimes in life, you know, we, we're we too hard on ourselves. You know, we, 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 you know, I think that when you are a mum, you're kind of jack of all trades. You have to think of everything and do everything. You know, whether you are a single mother or, or not, you, you, you know, you're, You've got your thinking cap on and it's, it's always working because that's how it is when you're a mum, you know. And even if you're not a mum, you still have to think and do things. So it's self-explanatory. So I don't have anything in this, but um, when I put it in, I I want to track it. It's not because um, I'm not disciplined. I have learned that I am disciplined. I just like the idea of a closed unit because sometimes I think when everything is see through, everybody sees your business. So when it's a closed unit, they just like wonder, oh, I bet there's not much in there. I don't think there's much in there. And then you open it and then, um, you know, you're surprised, they're surprised, you know. So it's, it's self-explanatory. But, um, you know, I, I, I had a comment, um, obviously, by a, a young lady and um, she said that she needed some support to save. And I, like I have suggested, you know, maybe, you know, the struggle is real for a lot of people and you might need a closed unit. And I, I, I don't I don't feel that anybody should be embarrassed by it or, you know, you, you shouldn't be made to feel, you know, shamed by it because they exist and they exist for good reasons. And if if they weren't being bought by people and being used by people, then they wouldn't be out there. So, um, you know, I, I, I think people are reaching for jars or tins because of the climate that we're living in. And, um, you know, any way that you can meet any kind of saving goal is a win-win-win, you know, because life isn't always um, a bed of roses. And in regards to a sealed unit, I personally feel that it, it's a good thing because um, you avoid temptation because when it's sealed, you have to, you, you've, you've got a gap to reach to get to where you need to be, whether you want to half fill it or you've got a date or you've got a target, you know, you could just go for it. It doesn't matter. I recently opened a tin at the end of the year and it wasn't even quarter filled. So, um, you know, it's not about always getting to the end of your journey. It's just about learning to do the motions and thinking, well, the first round, maybe the first time you got it here. And the next time you can aim to get it here. So such is life. I think that, that sometimes we we don't need to set ourselves up, but we have to give our you know ourselves credit. So um so that is my take on um you know using saving gadgets and you know having little milestone milestones, you know, it's a positive thing, a thing to to do so moving for moving to the end of the sorry getting to the end of the video i had a recent comment in regards to um credit card payments and i had a comment a young person and an older person 
and um, I just want to convey what was said via their comments. The young person was saying that when you have a credit card balance, it is better to clear your balance. It is a good thing. And that's the way he sees it, you know. And the older person was saying that, you know, I don't feel that it's a good way. I, I'm just going to soldier on with my minimum payment because, you know, it's not a big deal, you know, owing some money and the rest of it. And I just wanted, they just wanted my opinion on, you know, my view, because obviously I'd said that recently that I was going to clear a balance. Um, in relation to credit cards and um, because I have credit cards um, I'm going to shed some light on this you know I have learned that the longer you take to pay the balance the bigger obviously your debt will be and the more interest you will pay and for me interest rates are crazy right now and as we know, and I know this because one of my cards that I have, they had two interest payment increases in one year. And I was reading the fine print and I thought to myself, this is an error. I'm going to ring them up. And when I phoned them, they said to me, actually, no. You know, there was a rise in April and there is there was another rise in August. So, you know, there is no error. We can do what we want, basically. So, you know, it's their business and, it, you know, they're going to make their money the best way that they can. And, um, you know, that fine print, you know, um, we should sometimes read it. And a lot of us don't. So personally, you know, I I have credit cards and I'm kind of using them in a different way because I've learned that you know when you don't clear balances or you never have any intention you're paying for the rest of your life and personally I don't want to do that I don't want to be a slave to a credit card so I I personally feel that when I have it and it's reached a certain amount I want to clear it and when I clear that balance I actually sleep better you know that that is my take on it and you know and um you know i think you work hard so why are you working hard to just pay do a minimum payment and pay lots of interest and when you get that yearly statement and you've paid you know over a thousand pounds in interest or one thousand seven hundred in interest it's just crazy so um i would always strive to pay more than a minimum payment I understand that the struggle is real and people can't do that. But I I have always tried to pay, even if I couldn't clear it, I would always try to pay more, more than the minimum payment because um, interest rates are crazy. And, um, you know, we want to, we need to keep more money in our pocket, not 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 less. So so that is my view. And I feel that a lot of young people now are, are very savvy with money. And I think. Sometimes we have to take a leaf out of their book because, I mean, they may not have been on earth as long as we have. However, some of them are very skillful. They're young entrepreneurs and, you know, we can learn a lot from them. So I would never, you know, I'm very open minded when a young person says something. I listen. I don't shut them down because I'm. I want to learn and I, I think that it's never too late to to learn things. So, you know, because life is a learning journey and so, and you know, it's self-explanatory. So we have come to the end of the video and I'd like to thank anyone for watching. If you're a subscriber, if you are a newbie, if you're just watching out of curiosity, I want to say thank you very much for tuning in. And I'd like to say to you that it's, remember, it's not what you earn, it's what you keep. And pennies make pounds and pounds have use. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters. I'd like you to like, comment and subscribe and become a part of the Stash and Save Crew family. That would be lovely. And, um, you know, if you have something to add or 
something inspirational you want to share or something that you would like me to talk about or elaborate on, I'm willing to do so. So in the meantime, take care, bless you all and see you soon.